Hello guys, welcome. My name is Sijesh and this video I will show you how to install Microsoft Windows PowerShell on Linux machine and then install Azure module to connect with the Azure cloud. So the main challenge with uh, installing Azure module on PowerShell is uh, the compatibility. So if you are using a Windows machine, so there is a most probably I have seen like most of the people are facing this challenge like so they need to upgrade to this particular version uh, to support that Azure module. So this video we will see how quickly uh, we can do the same on Linux platform. So just open uh, one browser and search here like uh, install PowerShell on Linux. Get the first link from the Microsoft documentation. See here, uh, so it's uh, written like what are the supported platform. So from Ubuntu, CentOS 7 uh, and a lot more operating systems are listed here. And if you scroll down, so you can see the detailed steps that you need to do for installation uh, so we uh, here I have a Linux machine so which is basically CentOS uh, 7 okay and I'm going to install PowerShell here so I need to find out the steps uh, what are the steps I need to use uh, for installing it on uh, CentOS 7 so this is the commands I need to do the first thing uh, copy this line and make sure you are login as root user or else you just need to execute with the sudo access the reason is writing to this location require as elevated or root access so just hit enter and now if you just see here etc m.repos.t microsoft.repo so this repository is added so basically what you need to do is just add these lines into one of the repository file and uh, this is the base URL so when you try to do yum install so it basically download the package from this location and uh, the next thing uh, you need to do here is like uh, so install that PowerShell so yum install iPhone y PowerShell so this will install the uh, package PowerShell uh, from this repository. So iPhone Y option, I think it's a self-explanatory. So basically if you do a M install, so normally it asks yes or no question to proceed further. So if you use iPhone Y, automatically continue by uh, using this yes option. And uh, along with this, if it required, so it will uh, download or install the dependent package but here there is not much uh, dependency everything is in place so it's uh, taking only this powershell uh, from this repository so this is the repository just now we added so it's uh, downloading and uh, hope it takes some time because uh, it's all based on your internet bandwidth and uh, size of this file so the size is something like a uh, download total size is 55 MB and the uh, so installation size is 151 MB. So let's wait some time to complete this download and installation. So now the installation has completed so once uh, this is installed I mean the PowerShell has completed the installation we can just use pwsh so this is the command you need to type to go inside the PowerShell okay uh, so now we are inside the PowerShell and uh, which is uh, currently in inside my Linux operating system so I can just use like uh, the version uh, PS version table see I, I'm getting the details like uh, which version it's installed so it's, uh, this is 7.10 uh, and uh, 
like if I just want to get the version alone see the 7 is a major version minor version is 0 and patch version is 1 so now uh, we are inside the PowerShell so now the next thing is we need to install Azure PowerShell module so that we can connect Azure from here and uh, we can do uh, whatever the Azure AC commands I mean Azure PowerShell commands to uh, manage this cloud so for that what I'm using is just using the command inst I mean the commandlet install module then iPhone name so name of the module so which is AC then you can just use hello clover then scope hello clover basically uh, like see um, uh, this module may be installing a lot of executables so maybe the same executable already exists so if i use hello clover it will overwrite that already existing executables and you can set the scope the scope basically set for current user or else if you are global administrator you can use it for all so the default is all so better use the current user so that it do the module installation only for your id then hit enter so again it takes some time because there are a lot of files it has to fetch uh, from the internet uh, repository and uh, i mean basically it will download the module ac so which is uh, available in powershell so using that then you will be getting the commands to connect azure portal so let's wait some time to complete this uh, download and uh, installation so now you are getting uh, a message like uh, so this is from an untrusted repository yeah you better uh, type uh, yes to all better type a okay so now the installation has completed and uh, next we should be able to connect to azure using this connect ac account so since uh, we are typing this from a prompt where the graphical uh, support is not available so that is the reason it's asking us to uh, open a url and uh, type this so let's uh, go to this Right. and uh, once prompted so type the code so get this code and uh, add here okay then click next and uh, so uh, select your user id i mean so if you don't have uh, azure uh, portal id access so you need to get that first uh, so this is done like uh, so we can close this and uh, back to the console that's it so we have connected and uh, this is tenant id and uh, this is my subscription and this is my account name so if i go to uh, my portal so just hit portal.azure.com and uh, you can log in with the same id that you used for login and uh, go to the resource group okay uh, from this console i'm just uh, creating a new resource group using new sc uh, resource group then iphone name so my test rg01 and uh, need to type the location south india that's it so this uh, command uh, will create a new resource group so there are a lot of commands you need to get familiarized with uh, so you can do almost everything from this console like that we use from the powershell so new as a resource group will create a new resource group with this name and 
location south india so you can see the uh, status message so this is succeeded so go to the portal and uh, it refresh you can see that is created similarly so you can deploy other resource or you can uh, delete or manage other resources using this console so here you should be able to execute the same powershell command that we use uh, to manage azure cloud hope you enjoy this learning give me a like and positive comment if you like this video see you in the next video bye